good morning and spend the day with me as a 22 year old with five dogs who owns a small business and is a little bit chronically ill. So what I mean by that is I have, well, five dogs, um, four cats and about 30 outside animals. Half of them are birds, but still. As a small business owner, um, I groom dogs from home. So I have a client later today. So I will be showing you guys what I do when I groom a dog. And chronically ill, well, my heart has some undiagnosed problems. I get migraines that are very disabling. Um, maybe half the days every month. And I have some psychiatric disabilities, which I have a appointment with a psychiatrist today. So, yeah. So anyways, this is Bebe Boo. That is Gypsy. <laughs> this is Bear. Um, I don't know where Bowser is and Hemi's on the other side of the gate. So if you don't know anything about her pack, Hemi and Bowser cannot be together because they fight. So we keep them separated inside of the house. Outside they are managed with muzzles on and short leashes on. But yeah, you'll see all of that later. So keep watching and let me know at the end or in the comments um, what you liked best. This is where Bowser is. He's in Hemi's hut, but he's just chilling. Hemi is trying to make me feel bad by looking miserable. What? Hummy boy. Hi, <laughs> my hum. <laughs> so I didn't realize what time it was. It is almost eight. Oh, as you can hear, bear. All the dogs are crying and just like being right there. <sighs> So that means it's kind of like time to go like the opposite of inside, which if I say the word outside, it's kind of like, yeah, does Bowser want to <laughs> go? Do you want to go shopping? Does he want to go outside? <laughs> so yeah, that's what happens when we say the word outside outside um but everybody's gonna get raincoats because yuck guys go to your spot ham come on ham spot good boy I put Hemi's muzzle on before I release Bowser onto the spot because, well, you know, I'd rather not have a dog fight. Go to your spot. So now all the dogs have their muzzles on. Um, the rest of the dogs wear muzzles because they eat poop. Um, so... That's fun. Now all the dogs have their raincoats. And um, I don't know if you can tell, but I have a favorite. So we match. 
But seriously, look how freaking adorable they are. I literally almost forgot my goat water. Yeah, it's gross. Okay, go. Five years later. Also, can you tell who doesn't like the rain? Good morning, goats. I'm sorry. Goose is gonna. Good job, Bowser. We are back in. Now it's time to take all of their muzzles and coats off. Once everything's off them, I bring Hemi alone to his hut so I can take off his muzzle and get breakfast ready. Crates! Baby boo, great. Why are you like that? So Bowser's crying, but he doesn't know that he's getting like the best breakfast ever because I put his breakfast in a pig ear. I added his supplements. I added two mango ice cubes, a sardine, and like, doesn't this look amazing? Do you want that? <laughs> And that's all I have for prepped food, so I have to make everybody else's breakfast, like, right now. So we feed everybody Big Country Raw. Right now they're eating the extra large turkey and extra large beef. So let's make their supper. Minnow, you're next. Not supper, I meant breakfast. Breakfast. For Gypsy's breakfast, she gets some extra large turkey an egg, a hero rabbit ear, and a lot of goat's milk because we were kind of fighting, me and the goat milk, and the goat milk kind of won. <laughs> this could be an out of the crate thing, <laughs> Gyps. Um, okay. Have a very liquidy breakfast. Hemi is getting some extra large turkey, an egg, a rabbit ear, there's some supplements, there's some herring oil, and a normal amount of goat milk. Here you go. Mino! You made a mess, but to be fair, so did I. Um, okay. But anyways, fed the cats their big country raw, and it's obviously their favorite. Now I have a mess to clean, so... I was going to come put Hemi on this side, but the couch needs a blanket, so... And, and I didn't even have to call him over because putting a new blanket on the couch is, like, a good thing for Hemi. And he really likes laying on them when I try to put it on or right after. So, there you go. Now he's set over there. I can put this gate up and go let the Bowser out. Now I'm going to start cleaning up feeders and lick mats because Gypsy is taking every lick mat she can reach into her crate. Now these are going in the bathtub to get washed. I just washed all of these um, this morning so I need to bring those to the dog room and put them in the feeder bin. I was so smart and they fell everywhere, so. So I got a reminder on my phone that my appointment's in two hours, but that was about like half an hour ago. So, um, I have all the feeders done, all the meals are done, litter boxes are done, so 
I have a lot of laundry. This is clean. This is clean. This is dirty. This is waiting to go in the dryer, but the dryer's not done. So, like, I'm just waiting. Yes, we have a cot in the bathroom because Bowser is a baby. I gotta charge my phone because it is at 8%. I like to not charge my phone, but anyway, so I've been just, I changed the laundry, and now I'm just giving the dogs some new blankets on their crates. So I was hearing Bebe Boo's nails on the ground, and that made me think that I should do the nails, so nail time. I literally did Gypsy's nails yesterday, so, I mean, a few more days until I do hers. Look how miserable he looks, like, hummy. Now it's almost the time for my appointment, so I am getting ready. Bowser is in Hemi's hut because he decided that, that it was his today, so Hemi gets to join. So I just got off the... So I just got off the video call with the psychiatrist and my therapist and I just got diagnosed with autism. It's not something that I am surprised by, but for it to be official feels different. Usually around this time I would go outside with the dogs and then when I come back in I would feed the cats but it's super yucky outside and it's like just it's just pure rain and I don't want to. I really don't want to. So I won't. The cats are going to get their lunch in about an hour or before if they annoy me too much by then. I still have a huge pile of laundry, more laundry, more laundry. Now I need to switch this couch as a blanket, but Emmy, Emmy, come on, come on, good job. And like I said earlier, new blanket, he's got to go on it. So I usually don't work on days that I have therapy or anything, and this was actually kind of a big thing. Um, and it is really not good outside. I wouldn't want to drive in this. I don't want to drive at all, but <laughs> I mean, I definitely want to want to drive in this. And if someone's coming here to get their dog groomed, it's really muddy outside. So I texted my client. We just lost power. It's probably going to cut out again. So I'm going to start charging my phone, but um, I texted my client asking them if they wanted to reschedule because of the weather, and they said yes, so they're coming on one Monday instead, and that's a good thing because power is probably going to cut out again, and I can't groom without power. So, that's fine. Bowser's in the hut. We've got the TV set up, and I'm just cuddling with... Everybody and Tracy. Tracy! And this is what we're gonna be doing for the next few hours, really. Probably until my girlfriend gets home. Did they hurt? Did they hurt? Oh, no. Oh my god. And now look at you with the father. no, no. Then it was time for some cat lunch, so all the cats were super excited and. They love the big country raw, as you can see, and we have to feed them on lick mats because if not, they just eat the whole thing in like two seconds. 
But anyways, here I went for a nap, I cuddled with Hemi, and this is what I woke up to. Look at those teeth. This is what I found in the bathroom. Also, I found more laundry to do. This is Bibi Boo getting excited about me finally being awake. And I'm letting Bowser out. I finally just completely woke up from my nap. Um, it felt good. It was needed. Um, now my girlfriend's about to get home from work, so the dogs are going to be a little bit chaotic. But before she gets here, I'm just going to get some dog food going. Um, I want to make the one for tonight to have it frozen. So let's do that. So I've got all their meals done. Bowser already has one in the freezer, so I didn't have to do his. But yeah. The dogs know what time it is. My girlfriend gets home at the same time mostly every time she works. And they expect her around this time, so they're just waiting. That's your good boy. Is he waiting for the mama? Yeah? Yes. Jibs. Go lay down. My rule is that they have to be on the couch. Yes. Everyone's doing pretty good. Bowser's in his crate, but he's crying. Nah, stay. Okay, go. <laughs> now I'm just making the cat's supper for later. Um, they get to eat Big Country Raw blend on lick mats. Into the freezer, they go. I mean, being like this, which is like his 37th flop of the day, reminded me that it's teeth brushing time. Everybody else also obviously gets it done. This is the part where we sit down and watch our show while my girlfriend made an amazing supper. It was tacos. After supper, we just cuddle the dogs and play with them a little bit. Hemi got a Big Country Raw extra large turkey neck to chew on while the rest of the dogs and what? us get to just chill. The power kept going out so the show kept stopping. So we just decided to get the dogs ready to go out. Go your spot. I take off Hemi's things. Hemi. Okay, great. And he goes in his hut waiting for his supper. While my girlfriend takes off the other dog's muzzles and the one to have harnesses harnesses, I get the dog's suppers from the freezer and I put them all in their crates. Okay, crates! <laughs> I like when I put all their food in their crates before they get there because they don't cry about it once they're in their crate waiting for me. And they're already all busy, so yeah. And that was my interesting day today, so like and follow for <laughs> more videos like this.